yeah <clears throat> you know personally i have not uh, been very fortunate and blessed that you know um uh, financial or or other other thing what you talked about just now um being a you know considering parents as a, as a liability uh, i've been very fortunate that uh, my my parents have been uh, you know relatively quite healthy till date except my 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 dad uh, got a stroke last year and uh, uh, and again fortunately he has recovered fully so you know um, whether it's uh, <clears throat> physical or financial aspect of it so uh, i've not seen it uh, you know personally but yes i have heard i have seen in 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 society at large that uh, <clears throat> that how uh, seniors are uh, not uh, looked after uh, even if uh, even if they are brought um, from india or or from anywhere else for that matter yeah. um, they are not looked after the way um, they the way a human being should be looked after like you know uh, they have been ignored they have been uh, considered a liability um uh, unfortunately for uh, for us i believe that you know we we live in a society we were um or or, li- or live in a country where there there are programs which uh, which do support seniors uh but again uh, even if those programs are there um to getting access to those programs is always challenging it's not easy i i uh, i'm involved in uh, in some senior homes which are in, in calgary um uh, our our company do some donations to those senior homes um and i have met seniors personally as well and uh, yes the aspect of uh, uh, loneliness is huge you know even if you have got a five star <laughs> accommodation for a senior home um, you know seniors don't care about those facilities they they would rather have somebody hold hold their hand uh, for some time uh, every single day you know i think that is huge i think um, their uh, uh, their longevity longevity is dependent upon this emotional aspect rather than um uh, rather than uh, uh, other amenities which are provided to them so i think uh, uh, unfortunately through uh, uh, over or especially over year and a half we have seen that we are tr- we try to do everything virtually you know like we are doing this virtually as well you know i would uh, i personally like to uh, see and meet people in, in the physical sense of it and uh, i've been fortunate during pandemic also that i've been able to meet up with uh, uh people personally because of uh, uh the business i'm in uh, in hospitality so we have not i have not stopped going out of my house and and and, and seeing my uh, staff and my team so i've been fortunate there but again at, uh, coming back to the seniors I, i i just believe it's not about uh, it's not about uh, amenities it's not about anything else i think it's it's the the emotional and the mental part is huge and uh, uh i think as much as possible it is always good for seniors to stay home with their uh, with their loved ones um and uh, but the reality is many times it's not possible and uh, sometimes they have to be shifted to senior home um but uh, again even if they are shifted they still look for that that half hour one hour couple of hours a day that somebody can hold their hand it's 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 as simple as that i've seen it i've seen it myself here 
uh, while visiting senior homes and uh, uh, I I try to volunteer sometime um, whenever my time permits but uh, but I have seen really good dedicated people who volunteer on a regular basis I think that is something which is uh, which is needed in, the, in our society at large